Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a home folder for domain users in Windows Server 2025. Home folders provide each user with a personal, secure space on the server to store their files. This is especially important in a network environment where centralized storage improves data management, backup, and security. When a home folder is assigned to each user, the data is stored on the server, not on local devices. This makes files easily accessible from any computer connected to the domain. NTFS permissions also provide better protection. The home folder is very important, so we will walk through the process of configuring this setting step by step. The first step we'll take is to create the root folder for home directories. You must log in to Windows Server 2025 as an administrator. Navigate to the drive where you want to store the user folders and create a new folder. Name it, for example, Home Folder. Next, I'll set the sharing and permissions for this folder. Right-click on the folder and click Properties. And from the Properties window, select the Sharing tab and at the bottom, click Advanced Sharing. Then check the Share This Folder option to ensure it's shared. Under Settings, enter the name of the folder you want to display to domain users. Follow the name with a dollar sign. This sign will keep the folder hidden. At the bottom, you can write a comment or description about this folder, making it easier to find information about it later. Next, click the Permissions button. You can keep everyone and specify full control as the permission. Because we will be setting more custom security permissions, then click the Apply button and OK. Also, click Apply button and OK in the Advanced Sharing window and then in the Folder Properties window, click the Security tab. Then click the Advanced button. Then click the Disable Inheritance button. This is done to stop the folder from inheriting permissions from the parent directory, which could unintentionally give broader access to users who shouldn't have it. When this option appears, select the Convert Inherited Permissions to Explicit Permissions on this object option. This option keeps the current permissions, but makes them editable independently of the parent folder, making it easier to customize folder permissions. Next, remove unnecessary users or groups, such as users or everyone, to ensure that only the intended permissions are applied. This step is essential for maintaining tight access control and ensuring that users only access their parent folders, not other users' folders, then, click Apply button and OK. Click the Sharing tab again and copy the path to the folder you just shared and configure its permissions. We'll need this path when setting up and assigning the home folder to domain users. And you can then close the Home Folder Properties window. The next step is to assign the shared home folder to Active Directory. Open the Server Manager dashboard and click the Tools menu and open Active Directory Users and Computers. Here, select the users for whom you want to assign a home folder. After selecting them, right-click on them and select Properties. Next, click the Profile tab and at the bottom, select or check Home Folder option and select the Connect option and then select or assign a drive letter. Make sure to choose a unique letter it is not assigned to any drive on the client's computer so that no errors occur while assigning it to users. Next, enter the path to the shared folder, followed by dot base username. This will automatically create a folder named user login. Then, click apply button and OK. You must type descent symbol, followed by username, followed by percent symbol so that a folder named Domain Users is automatically created. To confirm, right-click on any user and select Properties. Then, click the Account tab. You will find that the username is HQ1. Then, click the Profile tab. At the bottom, confirm the folder path and you will find that the username has been automatically entered. This will happen automatically for all accounts for which you have assigned the shared folder. Now, you can close open windows. 
also open the shared folder we created. Here, you will find that it has automatically created folders with the names of the domain users we assigned. This will make organizing easier, stored folders and files. To verify the permissions granted to the folder, right-click on the folder named HQ1 and select Properties. Then, click the Security tab. Click the Advanced button. You will find that the user named HQ1 has full control permissions, and this is already applied to this folder, subfolders, and files. This will be true for every user assigned the home folder. The final step is to verify that these settings have been applied to a domain computer and ensure that the user's home folder has been assigned without any problems. Log in with the account of one of the domain users to whom we added the home folder to verify that the home folder was successfully assigned. Open this PC and you will find that the home folder has been assigned to this user, giving him full control over the folder and allowing him to create folders or files within it. Thus, all steps have been successfully completed. Return to the server, open the shared folder, and select the folder named HQ1. You'll find that it stores data on the server, and each user is assigned a home folder. Creating a home folder for each AD user is a best practice for centrally storing files and protecting user data in enterprise environments. It facilitates backup procedures, protects sensitive files, and ensures that users can securely access their data from anywhere on the network. If you found this video useful, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell button so you don't miss any upcoming Windows Server lessons. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.